sorry guys. So, the preview video, I know I usually drop them on Wednesdays, but um, that's going to have to get pushed back to either tomorrow or Friday, so just be looking out for that after this. But it takes precedence because we got some stuff to talk about today. And mainly because I couldn't get it to, get to it last night. Now, when we lost to the Packers, I figured some movement might happen with uh, trades. And it did last night, and I couldn't get to this video last night. So, that's hence why we're talking about it today. It came out. We are officially sending a guy away who has been talking talked about and rumored to be traded for, I don't know, a few years now, but we're sending them off now, and I know we traded Roy Robinson Harrison before, but like I said in like a previous video, that that's so irrelevant and doesn't change this defense whatsoever. It sucked while he was here, and it's going to suck while he's gone the rest of the year. Pretty much is what it is, but this one is a little bit significant. I wouldn't say it necessarily changes the scheme of things, but it is interesting and very noteworthy. So, um, yesterday, we shipped off Cam Robinson to good old Minnesota for a fifth round pick that can condition, that can turn into a fourth round pick. Like, I'm not sure, like, exactly how that works but um you know we'll see you know we'll see it is what it is it's um and funny enough it's this is actually for the 2026 draft be, which makes sense because we got third and fourth round picks from the vikings for for this upcoming draft the 2025 draft because remember if you recall back at the draft that's who we traded down with to draft btj and Got third and fourth round picks out of it. God, imagine that. We traded down and still got the best rookie in this class so far that's not playing quarterback. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's a good move. Now, I think a lot of you know I've been very critical of Cam Robinson this year. Mainly because just his play this year, like in the beginning, was terrible. But in previous in previous games, he kind of picked it up as the year went on. <clears throat> it got a little bit better, and you know, I, and you know, I, I don't want this to like. I don't want people to think that like I hate Cam Robinson because I really don't. Like I actually really like Cam Robinson. Like he's been here since 2017, and you know, he's never been a great left tackle, but he's been solid. He's done the job. We can get by with him, and you know, he's. Good. His biggest problem in more recent years is that he couldn't stay on the field, whether that be injury or the one time he got suspended. Like, dude just could never really stay on the field. And like even for that and like even for that playoff run back in 2022, he was hurt and Walker Little was starting. So um You know it is what it, like I think like his cap hit this year was seventeen million dollars, so like there's some money off the cap here. I mean, not really sure what that does now because he was a free agent next year. It's not really going to affect anything next year or this year, really, because it's not like we're going to spend that money. But um, I think they, I think the reason that like they did it is because you know there's not too big of a drop off from Walker Little to him, and you know it was, and you know I'll and like I said, I'll always appreciate Cam Robinson, but. Quite frankly, you know, it was time. Like, it, it just, I think that whole situation just ran its course, and it was time to move on. It just really felt like, you know, he's kind of been here too long, and he's not really getting any better. He's kind of been the same since his rookie year. So, it is what it is. And, you know, like I said, and like I said, um, Cam, if you're watching this video, I just, I doubt you are, but like, if you do happen to see this video, I just want to say thank you for everything. You'll be, you'll be missed. And, you know, I'm wishing you the best of luck in Minnesota. And then where, um, 
and then where you end up after that. And I know what somebody's saying, like, oh, what? Wait, why would he? Why you think he's not going to be a Minnesota pass this year? Yes, I do because Christian Darisol is their starter, and I believe he got hurt and is out for the season. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what happened, and hence why the reason they traded for him. So. I'm sure he'll be playing somewhere other than Minnesota next year. So, um, like I said, like I said, Cam, I wish you nothing but the best, bro, and thank you for your service. And um, the other thing, the fact that this was Cam Robinson and not Walker Little actually kind of tells me a lot because now I still say that right now the Jaguars are taking a left tackle in the NFL draft. That, however, could change because Walker Little played pretty good last week in the Packers game. And maybe if he decides to take like a cheaper deal or like a prove a deal, maybe we don't draft a left tackle. I personally am leaning towards that because I'm not a big believer in Walker Little. But, you know, he's got the rest of the season to prove otherwise. And the fact that this was Cam Robinson that got traded and not Walker Little saying, you know, they're gonna give him a shot. They're gonna give him a shot. The um, see what he can do the rest of the season, and see if you know maybe he can be the long term answer at left tackle. So, Walker, my friend, it's sink or swim time, mother. Hey, Jesus, it's sink or swim time, motherfucker. Let's see what you got. And then um, before we end this before we end this video, I want to touch on something else, and. I know people are going to be like, why the hell are you talking about this? But, like, it's kind of interesting to me. And it's kind of sad in a lot of ways. Now, I want to talk, and that's it, and I want to talk about the Anthony Richardson situation. And people are going to be like, well, Jaganoff, why are you talking about Anthony Richardson? Like, yes, he plays for my rival team, but we're not playing, you know, the cunts for another their few weeks. And, um, but the thing is, I'm a big Florida Gators fan, as most of you know, and that's where Anthony Richardson went. And I wanted to see this kid do good. But, honestly, there's a lot of things working against him, and it's not looking good. So... As most of you are aware, last week he had horrible passing numbers. Like, I think at halftime he was like 2 for 15, which is insanely bad. Like, Jamarcus Russell levels of bad. And then later in the game, like, I didn't see this happen because obviously I was watching the Jags. But, um, I didn't see when this happened, but... I only started hearing about it after his press conference. Like, he apparently subbed himself out of the game on a crucial drive, and then he ended up saying because he was tired. And I heard that. I'm like, buddy, you play quarterback, and you're a running quarterback. Of course you're going to get tired. It's even like, like I know this isn't a comparison, but, like, with me with, so with, me with softball games, I go through, like, sometimes I play two and three games at a time. And there's going to be times where, like, I'm tired and, you know, want to sit, like, out on the field. And if I'm, like, out on the field, like, I want to, like, swap out. But, you know, I don't because I'm that much of a competitor and I want, and in crucial parts of the game, I'm not coming out. And, buddy, you are a starting quarterback in the NFL, a job you get paid millions of dollars to do. And needless to say, I I've never seen that before, and it's not a good look. So, here's the, here's the thing. I loved Anthony Richardson in Florida, but <clears throat> to me, at least when I watched him, he didn't have near enough game experience. Like, I thought he could have been great there. Like, that senior, like, even that first year, that's like the last, his last year there was when we started losing to Florida State. Like, we've lost him twice in a row now, I believe. And... I was like, you know what? It could get better from here because, you know, this guy, this kid's got it. He just needs some polishing. And, you know, he could legitimately be an NFL quarterback. But when I heard he declared for the draft, I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, I knew from day one that that was a mistake. 
Not because I didn't think he was good, but because he he was nowhere near ready. Like, he was nowhere near ready to be an NFL quarterback. Like, he needed another year of college. And not only that, he went to a team in the in the ass plus cons, which one, he's a top five pick, which you know expectations for top five picks. But then he goes to them and is gonna be and is gonna be starting right away. It's like Anthony Richardson, one, you didn't have enough college experience, and two, he he was nowhere near right. Now, if he went if he went further down to a team like let's say Seattle, where he could have sat a year or two behind Geno Smith, that I think would have been ideal. Like really, the situation Michael Penix is in right now, I feel like that would work with Anthony Richardson. But I don't like that he was thrown in right away. He has top five pick expectations. And he's in a system that, frankly, does not fit him at all. So, I mean, why, I mean, if you're the cunts, like, this is just killing this kid's confidence at this point. Like, you're playing Joe Flacco, which it's a miracle he's still in the fucking NFL right now. Oh, and we beat him. I, I thought I would mention that for the Flacco dick rider that watches my channel. Um, and, yeah, yeah, like, He's not going to be your long-term answer, and what? And then what happens with Richardson after this year? Like, I don't know. It, it's just a city situation, and it sucks. I wanted this kid to succeed, and I still want him to succeed. But you know, hopefully, he gets out there. Maybe he has a year or two to revitalize himself. He is only twenty-two years old, so you know, maybe he can get it together. Because I do still see the potential and think he can be a good quarterback. But it, it's just. It's just shitty how his career has gone. And, you know, it was afraid. I was afraid this would happen as soon as, like, you know, he declared for the draft. But as they say, that's in the ass. Well, this is problem, not ours, because like, we got a good franchise quarterback. So it is what it is. But, and, you know, like I said, but, you know, that's it. That's all. Again, Cam Robinson, if you somehow see this, thank you for everything and uh, wishing you the best, man. But, uh, that's it. That's all, people. It's been your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Do ball till I die. Go.